Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, today we have another beer sent to us by Maxwell Star, Mad Max Star, Maxwell Star's Beer Reviews. Uh, nice, nice fellow from New Brunswick. Uh, this is the last beer of his that I have um, for review. This is Pump House, Cadian Cream Ale from the Pump House Brewery in New Brunswick. Uh, this is the one commercially available Pump House brew, you know, outside the brew pub that I cannot get. So big thanks to him for sending this to me, even though he says it's not an exceptional world-class beer or anything, but it's really cool just to be able to try it. Uh, apparently they have a lager or something too, he says, coming out uh, soon. This is 5% alcohol by volume. Uh, apparently the, the Cadian refers to Acadian, which is a sort of rural French-speaking uh, people that uh, immigrated to this uh, part of the world. Uh, not a lot of information on Pump House's actual website about their beers, which is a little disappointing. Basically, all I know is it's a cream ale and it's 5% alcohol by volume. That's all I really know. Other than that, it's just commercial descriptors or whatever. Oh, it's a malty with a hint of hops and, you know, yada, yada, yada. I can smell it from here. Uh, it's pretty much honey, very light honey. Maybe you just say yellow in color. Nice finger of head. Uh, yeah, it looks like um, any of your sort of uh, uh, generic gold nails, I guess. Uh, it looks from anything from Oland um, export to. Uh, Mill Street uh, Stock House Ale. So we'll, uh, or Stock Ale. Um, we'll go right to the smell. Yeah, uh, malty, right up front. Nothing big, a little bit of sweetness. Um, gives off that sort of, uh, I don't know if that's the hops or the malt, but it gives off that sort of uh, canned uh, corn, canned vegetable sort of smell. It smells okay. Little touch of honey maybe in there. It smells pretty good. Um, Again, it smells a lot like uh, your generic um, North American sort of uh, golden ales, stock ales, whatever, export ales. But of course this smells uh, better than Oland or uh, any of those ones, right? It's Although I like the uh, Mill Street one better than this, but this, like the Mill Street one, it smells you know, actually craft brewed and as opposed to just some uh, slop they put in a vat in some big brewery somewhere. Alright, we'll go right to the taste. Mmm. Upper light body to it. Almost, I guess you could almost say approaching medium. got a nice um, maltiness to it. Again, more you get sort of that sweetness. There's, there's, more, there's more sweetness in the actual taste than the smell. Uh, again, you get more of that um, slightly canned corn kind of finish. Just a little um, tinge of hops. Just bring it up some bitterness. Balances out the malt perfectly well because, like I said, it's not, it's not overly sweet or anything. So... good little bit of carbonation there so it's kind of refreshing I think uh, the whole point behind this is sort of um, it's a safety kind of bridging the gap between macro and craft kind of thing it's one of those starter beers for people looking to get into uh, craft brews and it's something that um, 
a craft brew enthusiast can enjoy too. It's probably way better on tap, I imagine. I could see myself sessioning this, you know, at like the actual at an actual bar or something. But um, yeah, it's you know, it's not a world beater at any uh, stretch of the imagination, but um, it does the trick. It's uh, it's a good intro to. Uh, Craft ales. It's just a very light body golden ale. Uh, good mouthfeel, good carbonation. Tastes enough like those uh, uh, Popsy McLoggers that it won't alienate um, people looking for something a little different. And um, you know, it just sort of it's like a it's like a training bra or something for uh, for you newbies out there. So. Um, if you can get Pump House Cadian Cream Ale, I suggest you try it out. Um, it's good enough for a three out of five, I'd say. It's you know, it's it's that's a six out of ten. It's not great, but it's it's there. It's good. Uh, it's worth trying out. All right, guys. We'll see you later.